So you may be wondering, where do I get these food grade buckets from for free? Can they be reused? Because if you make wine or if you make kimchi, uh, it smells it up, right? It leaves an odor. Uh, so I just want to cover a brief uh, minute because in case you're wondering how, how do I get these things without paying for them for free, right? So I get these from my local supermarket. Sometimes they used to hold it for me, but I got too many of them, quite frankly, of all sizes. And um, so you could ask your supermarket bakery department or even maybe the cold cuts department. Usually, typically, uh, the bakery, as you can see, cherry filling. Okay, and over here is plus what? Uh, this is really, um, um, this is cherry filling. This was easy, but... This is also plus wild blueberry. Uh, it, it's a topping, but usually I get the bad ones that they are, um, you know, cream toppings for cakes, whatever you call them, right? And so those are really, really greasy. They're probably made of lard and um, they're really hard to wash off, but it's worth, uh, it's worth doing it because these are very good buckets. Okay. Uh, it looks like this one was busted. I never even noticed that. Um, it just has a little part over here. I'm looking from the bottom. It doesn't seem like it's busted through here. Yeah, it's kind of normal. I don't know why this looks like this. Uh, it's kind of weird, but it looks okay. Anyway, so this, I had it soaking in vinegar, water, and lemon because I make kimchi and I put a lot of garlic and it really does taste good, the kimchi, by the way. So <clears throat> let me just see the smell because I left this soaking yesterday. Smells, still smells garlicky. I put, I didn't put enough lemon or vinegar water. So I'll put more lemon when I get ready because in my sink, believe it or not, I reuse my little tubs, right? And so here's a tub of lemon water. And I make my own soap and I soak things in it and everything, anything with a, with a scent like garlic, um, is washed away because I keep, I keep my, my lemon peels. Okay. I reuse them. I, I soak them in with what I call, I make my own, uh, dishwashing liquid with vinegar, water, and lemon, the lemon peels. Okay. Now on occasion, on occasion, I will use, um, a natural kind of soap. You know, something like this. I get these from TJ Maxx, dishwashing soap. They're, they're kind of natural. Naturally citrus through uh, cuts through grease and grime. And so occasionally I use this, but I'm not using it as much because the lemon vinegar does the trick for me. And uh, quite frankly, I used to have a problem with dishwashers like that because they don't create a lot of suds. Um... You don't really need a lot of suds, right? <laughs> I was criticized once. I did fostering and the girl was like, you don't have a lot of suds. You don't know how to wash dishes. Well, all my dishes were quite clean, quite frankly. You know, she could never point out that something was dirty or smelled or anything. But I've moved up in the ladder. I'm using these peels for cleaning the house, for cleaning my deck, for... Uh, this is great actually for clothes. I don't use detergent, by the way. Um, I haven't used detergent... In at least seven years, I haven't used real deodorant in about 30 years. I use sea salt, and I'm going to make films on that. Um, what else is it? There's something else. A couple of things I haven't used that people typically don't use. I actually quit using toilet paper about five months ago. I used a bidet, and I am always perfectly clean. I use soap and water each and every time I go. So if I'm spending money on toilet paper, spending room, storage room on pa toilet paper, um, there is a better alternative. You don't get that tissue stuck on you either, right? So you're going to learn a lot of things with me if you stick around. So I've taught this trick to a couple of people. They don't sell this in the market. These are magnets, I believe. Uh, these are, <clears throat> I forgot, like mar marble pieces of, of uh, not marble, uh, granite. Whatever it is, you'll see it in the supermarket in uh, Ollie's, okay? This you probably won't find again.
But I, I've been using these for years. They do up to a thousand washes. Now, you don't want to believe me, I'm sure, right? But put in the washer the stinkiest, dirtiest, gruddiest thing with either one of those balls. I use actually both of them at the one time. And so I turned somebody in Florida onto it. He, he was an engineer and he didn't believe anything. And he put in his dirtiest, gruddiest underwear. And it came out sparkling clean. He says, I'm convinced. He too stopped using detergent. Because detergents have um, deodorizers covering up the smell, I believe it's of lime, which is a toxic chemical in it. So if you smell all this stuff, I'm not going to use the name, something sounds like down, but I'm not going to say the name, okay, uh, for softeners or um, your detergents have a smell to them, a nice, beautiful smell, which I can't stand now. I realized that staying away from it is wonderful because I'm staying away from toxins. When you're smelling something, you're smelling toxins, okay? And they are covering a bad odor that is toxic on top of that. So how do you know this? So let's say you have an old lady and you're taking care of her, sort of like a fostering for old people. They will tell you they don't want detergents and soaps near the living area. So at least they care about them, right? I would say to that degree, everything else is about money, but to that degree, they care about them. Why? You go to the supermarket, you shouldn't want to buy anything from an aisle that is mixing chemicals with food. And there are some dollar type stores that you walk in and you you smell those those chemicals and you think that it just smells good and they're de deodorizers, but those deodorizers are indeed toxic. Okay. So just to get that out of the way, um, I've been cleaning my wash naturally for, I mean, quite frankly, it's not seven years. Oh my goodness. It's, uh, since 2012, we're in 2022. Okay. So it's 11 years. Okay. Um, and I love living natural. Now, I'm not exactly uh, someone who lives in a farm and I, and I, and I grow my own vegetables, but uh, I'm probably inching in on that. But I'm also getting older and that requires a lot of labor and possibly a big family. <laughs> okay. So at any rate, you create a tub similar to the one I, 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 I showed you. Put just a little bit. See, I'm almost down. I got, I got tons of this. I collect these because I'm a prepper. And what I have here... Is almost nothing like look look, look at the little bit I have just that a little bit that little bit and use up your lemon juice squeeze it right see I squeeze my lemon juice every day practically every day sometimes I run out and I don't I don't get any for a few days because I keep forgetting but squeeze your lemon and drink it right consume it however the peel you can uh, put it in a tub and, and, and put some vinegar water and create make your own dishwashing soap out of that. Although it doesn't look like soap. It's not bubbly. It is very good. And yeah, you could throw in a dash of your soap um, dish detergent. At least it's a dash, right? So you're working on the reduction and getting rid of the unnecessary chemicals, right? Okay. So now just a dash of this. And the peels, I, I, they, they, they accumulate all the way to here. You know, I mean, I, I, I have buckets full uh, because I, I actually throw it on my deck and I clean my deck with that because uh, I have a light colored deck. So I just wanted to let you know that you get these for free. Oh, yeah, I'm in my pajamas. Sorry. <laughs> it's my day off. It's Shabbat. Um, and so you don't have to fill it. You can fill it a little bit just up to here on each and let it sit with just lemon and vinegar. I guarantee you the smell will leave. I just haven't been working on it because I'm a little just trying to rest today and I'm working on a lot of stuff. I sell Medicare um, in various, various states. If anybody needs any type of insurance, health insurance, you can visit insurancethrone.com, insurancethrone.com. Just plugging in a little bit. Uh, my new career, but uh, I, it may be new, but I know more than a lot of people who've been in the business. I, I catch them making errors when I watch them on YouTube all the time uh, because I'm a perfectionist 
and I don't like uh, delving in until I know I got it all. And I'm, I'm pretty much certified in a lot of areas. Uh, whatever area I could be certified, I do employee insurance, Medicare, uh, ACA, I may not do it this year. Uh, I'll probably just get, get certified for the heck of it because it's only for a month, the open window, open enrollment. Um, but I may do it. It's the marketplace. You know, I, I call it Trump Care. If you want to call it Obamacare, you could do that. But it's really ACA, okay? And uh, just plugging in what I do for a living, uh, if anybody cares to know a little bit about me. I will be making an intro um, about myself at some point, and I'll see if I could stick it to the top. Um, but I hope that you are enjoying my videos. Um, there's a lot for me to share. I, I used to be so big on vitamins and herbs and I, I still am, but, um, there was a little, uh, lag time there for a minute. And, um, when I stopped doing all of my vitamins is when, I started getting doctors to offer prescription before they used to brag about me. Like, how come you're so good? You don't have anything. So I'm, I'm back to my vitamins and herbs and I want you to watch closely the things that I share. And I'm going to give you a hint. I'm, I'm going to share things that are pretty unusual. I hope you've noticed that. Um, I'm going to share fermented soybean. I will tell you the name of it and how it works. I want to say one thing. It is good for your bones. I was rear-ended and uh, I had a lot of health issues, you know, physical, you know, my back, my neck, my jaw, TMJ, all that, right? And I'm still not out of the woods when it comes to TMJ, but my chiropractor was amazing. This is like, what are you doing? Like, he gave me the exercises, right? But I rolled with them and then added more. And then I started taking uh, K, uh, vitamin K with calcium and my coctus always used to hurt. And it's still, I'm, again, I'm not out of the woods there, but I could sit all day and it won't bother me. Like I got to kind of like bounce on something to realize, oh yeah, there's a little pain there. But um, I believe in self-healing through God-given remedies and ancient remedies as well. But nevertheless, I give all the honor and praise and glory to God, the maker of the universe. And I hope that this doesn't offend anybody. It's not intended to, um, but sometimes it, it's, it, it's not bad for those of you who believe in karma versus the Bible, because, um, the Bible came up with what karma means. It's just another word, right? Um, and all I care to do here is share goodness with you. And so please don't ever be offended. Just let it ride. Sometimes it starts to make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, it's okay if it doesn't make sense to you. But I'm just trying to share with you all of the things that are enriching my life, including uh, when I um, pretty much, uh, I don't mind telling you my setbacks, right? Uh, sometimes you fall off the wagon. And then sometimes you live to tell people, hey, I fell off the wagon. And guess what? It's because of this. I stopped... I started getting lazy with my vitamins and herbs, etc. And then when I have a testimony like I just did now that my bones are getting stronger. Um, my, 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 I, I was, um, so they say that if you don't, if you have poor movement, like you can't crawl into bed easily, um, uh, that's a sign of aging and that's deterioration. Well, that's how I was months ago. So my chiropractor, he tells me, we talk, we just talk a lot. Well, I love him, right? And so then he says, okay, get on your back. And he, it, he observes every movement, how I sit while I'm talking, how I move my mouth if my, if my jaw is still crooked. He observes everything. This man is brilliant. God bless him. I think about him so much. I pray for him uh, and his family. Um, but anyway, um, he notices that now I've improved to the degree that I'm not like like a 90 year old crawling onto the, you know, the, um, the bed pad, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the chiropractors to lie down so he could crack me. He, he sees me just jump sprint right on it. And he's like, Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> so that's a good compliment. And I'm up there in age, um, 50 plus, maybe even more, but anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye now.